John with hookajohn.com here. Got another shipment for you that I have not, I never carried this brand before, but I wanted to show it to you. Let's see, this just came in fresh off the boat, fresh off the truck. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if there's anything in this shipment that you may, li may like or not like. Let's see. What do we have here? All right, let's grab one of these boxes here so my cameraman can get out of the sun. Ah, heavy stuff, heavy stuff. Feels like solid brass to me. Good packaging. All right. Let's see what we got. I've got to count all this stuff out, so I'm not going to show you the whole unloading video. I'll show you more as we go along. All right, what's the first thing we got here? Ooh, the base. I don't feel like unloading that right now. Put it there, it's safe. Take a look at the stem first. You know, it's a good thing they wrap so much, it's just a pain to take them off. It's kind of racks for our hookahs like this when they come out to you. Not this much, but how much time do you spend loading and unloading? Actually, wait, that's my question. How much time do you guys spend unwrapping your packages when it comes to hookah? I suppose that would depend on the vendor. This is overkill for me when it gets to your house, but coming all the way from Egypt, this is pretty... Uh, good, because it helps. Alright, we got copper down stem, solid brass Farida. Okay, check that out. I don't know which model this is, I gotta go through my paperwork and all that. I just called them up and said, let's order a bunch. Let's just, let's just order what we got. Let's see the tray on this. Got a hose, oh, washable hoses. Brass plate. With the Farida, oh, this is pretty heavy. It's pretty cool. The Farida emblem on it. Let's see how this fits. Oh, check that out. I don't know if that's meant to be that way, but the cool thing about it, you can actually see this right here. You could probably rest your tongs right there. So that is real nice. Real good work. All right. Copper down stem. A little bit of a double bubble right there. Yeah, let's check these out. Nice work on the old copper down stem. Thicker copper than normal. All right, so let's see what kind of base this one has. All right, this is gonna take some time. Sorry for the time. I try to keep my videos as short as possible. This might be one of the longer ones just due to it being a, a new product at hookajohn.com. They really put in the time to wrap these, which is great. I bet I have not one broken base in here. All right. Not bad. Not a bad little setup, okay? It's pretty cool. All right, what I'm gonna do is open a whole bunch of them and then show you guys a little bit more. So if you wanna stop the camera, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we are with an update on Frida Hookahs. I wanted to give you some up close stuff. That stuff right there, don't mind it. Those are what's left of the Pasha and Ghazi El Nefes hookahs, which I've been selling off the site and just didn't get on the website yet. Although, now back to the main topic here. These are the Farida hookahs. Here's the stems up close. Um, I forget the name of them. I, I believe this one's called, this one here is called Castle Alam. I think. This one's called the Nahle, Nahla. That one's a, the uh, Kamanja. I I forget the rest, but you're gonna have to look at them on the website. Okay, so check out some of the workmanship up close. Okay, pretty good work. Now all of these have copper down stems, except for 
these two models, which are kind of minis. These are called the Tunsi models. They're both pretty short. I think the one on the left is like 21, the one on the right is 26 inches, something like that. But those have stainless steel down stems, if that matters to you. Now, I also found a Tunsi laser, or a Tunsi in gold. Where the hell is it? Um, where the frick is it? I believe it's this one over here. So it's the same model as that mini in gold. And that one, the Tunsi Gold, does have a copper down stem. So here's another one. Oh, what's the name of it? It's got that anchor on it. I think it's called the Help Bahia. All right. Hey, the cool thing about these, that, that, by the way, that one's a little odd. They have that, this model here has that there. And um, I think there's another version that has that where the tray rests on. Let's get this out of here. That's the way it comes, which is odd. It's like two tray holders, and you can only use this one here. But it fits on pretty good. Now, listen up. For all you guys that like minis, all right, here's some minis that we got here. These are 22 or 21 inches, if you like those, okay? Those are the hoses they come with. The minis actually come with a no-handle wash, washable hose. And they come with copper down stems. You get the gold on the right and the oxide on the left. So check those out. The difference between these and the KM minis, these, these trays, you can't just bend. They're not that flimsy. I mean, they're pretty solid. They're about... I'd say more than double the thickness of the trays that come with the KM minis. So that's a big selling point right there. And also the trays with the rest of the Fritas are a lot heavier. I, I weighed them at uh, half a pound, which uh, for a tray is pretty good. But anyways, let's just see a little bit more workmanship here. Comanja uh, on the right. The What's that one in the middle with the two balls? That's Casa de Alam, the World Cup one, and it's a double. It's got two of them. I don't have the single here. It's in the other room. But anyways, good ports, good down stems. Another thing I want to point out on the copper down stems is that it's thicker copper than I've seen with other brands. Again, if that's important to you. I don't care because hookahs are going to smoke pretty much the same. You're just looking for workmanship to see how long they're going to last and these are up there with the major brands of Egyptian hookahs. Alright, so that's it for now. I'm going to get back to work and smoking away. Alright guys, I will see you soon.